I don't know if you agree with what is called the critical period in language, that you have a critical period on, on when you grow up so that you can learn a language. And if you don't do that by that age, then you don't lose that ability, but it's going to be more difficult. So I would say that now with technology, we are influencing that because now you can see child using iPad and so on. So yeah, the answer to that can be extremely complex or very, very simple. Yeah. Yes, I uh, totally agree that language, spoken language uh, specifically, has a critical period. If we are not ex ex exposed to spoken language before a certain age, mm -hmm. the capacity to learn it easily declines. And actually, it declines, typically, it's assumed that around seven. Uh, it, begi it, it begins to decline. So, which means it's not that you cannot learn to communicate with other humans after age of seven, but it means that crucially during those first uh, years you have to be exposed to spoken language. I don't think that that applies to reading. Reading, as you said, was not evolved in the brain. We are um, hacking the brain networks to develop the reading skills. The reading skills. Although also from a cognitive perspective there are people that have isolated a particular areas of the brain that specializes in letters. So it seems that there is some learning a language has some uh, wiring consequences on the brain. But it doesn't, it doesn't follow a strict uh, developmental line that the critical age would give you. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you have 80-year-olds that learn to read. What we do know is that if you don't have a spoken language, if you don't have human language, you cannot learn to read. So mm -hmm. reading you is writing language. on a system that a network, a brain network, that is being used for spoken language. Yeah. So there are some <laughs> extreme similarities, but also at some point they diverge. One of them is this critical period, that it yeah. doesn't seem to be subject to, to, to the critical period. So when you are asking what, how technology is affecting <laughs> children, children and they are developing a language, we cannot say that there is a direct uh, line between or correlation between a developing reading skills and the use of technology. But it could be a little bit indirect because being absorbed by this technology restricts what we do as humans mm -hmm. with other humans. It could be that actually is n uh, we are not developing or children are not developing the necessary basis for all the aspects of human language that the then we are allowed to hack so that we can right. develop deeper, uh, sorry, or better uh, reading skills. Uh, how do we know that or how I make that inference is that we have dyslexic people. Right. Dyslexic people find it a little bit, uh, find difficult to learn this decoding system that we call reading. And it's something that seems to be related to, to the brain. There are some studies that they talk that um, it's some asymmetrical or lack of uh, asymmetry mm -hmm. in the brain. And uh, we know that there is something in the brain that doesn't allow that reading development. Right. But these people still have language. So we see how they basically, we can decouple Lang spoken language from yeah. writing or written language. So uh, once again, I think that basically technology is not affecting our reading directly. skills directly, mm -hmm. but it's a especially when we're talking about children, I think that uh, probably adults is a completely different story, yeah. but it's affecting these more basic the fundamental skills, skills that uh, basically we need to have completely automatized so that we can access higher level of uh, thinking processes mm -hmm. and so everything that higher levels of kicking processes allow us to do critical yeah. thinking empathy etc etc yeah. creation and i think is uh, this problem is barely new i would say facebook came uh, to the iphone like in 2010 2011 oh, okay 
and social, that was so you're talking about social, social media, media. <laughs> and that was the peak uh, also i read an, an article that they found that an anxiety peak in 2011 so they believe that there is a correlation between when the upper store came out and anxiety and so on but that is another topic